Hey, what's up guys? So welcome again to another marketing tutorial with Archie Rogers and as always, I mostly produce content on marketing, branding, advertising and business related topics. So if you're planning to start your own business or if you already have a business running and you've been struggling with your own marketing or advertising, how to run your own ads campaign, or you're just looking for a strategy that will help make your business successful, this is just the right channel for you because those are the kind of contents we produce. And the good thing about it, all of our tips are effective and people who have tried these tips, they are testament to exactly what we do on this channel. So if those are the kind of contents you are interested in, kindly subscribe, hit that like button, and also leave a comment. We'll certainly be sure to reply you. So uh, in today's video, um, I'm gonna be talking about e-commerce website. Um, I understand like once you have like your own business running or even if your business is not that big, even if, it's, it, it, even if it is like a startup where you just are uh, maybe trying to put things together, uh, you can still have a website running. And if you have a website running, this tips is still uh, applicable to you as well. You don't have to like have like a big business running before uh, you say I can apply this tip. Whatever business you have running, once you have like an e-commerce website, this tip is also applicable to you. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three important tips to keep in mind in order to have a customer's friendly website because that's one of the most important things you should always have in mind. You don't want to have a website where it's very complicated, navigating through it is just so complicated where like I, I just don't want to go on that website or you don't want your customers having that impression about your website. So you want to have a website where customers can relate to, customers will feel, um, will feel pleased to want to go back there. So that's the customer's friendly website. But there are tips, there are strategy you need to have in mind and I'm going to be sharing with you three of those tips that will keep your website customers friendly. So stay with this video as I share with you three most important tips to keep your website customers friendly. So welcome back guys for tip number one is the site navigation. You know, uh, I always say this to people, uh, it's not a bad thing to have like a complicated website, but you should keep in mind the purpose of the website. So you have corporate website, you have e-commerce website, and you have uh, some professional web websites, the same almost like the corporate website website. So depending on the purpose of your website, depending on the goal you want to achieve from having a website, those things should be uh, at the back of your head before designing your website. For e-commerce, it's always good to keep in mind that customers are the reason why you are having an e-commerce website. So because customers are the reason you are having an e-commerce website, you don't want to have like a complicated website. Make sure that your navigation is very easy, like simple. And the interface should be simple to the point where customers can easily navigate through uh, the website and find things within the shortest period of time. Because if customers are able to navigate through your e-commerce website and find products or whatever they are looking for within the shortest period of time, that person is more likely to buy from your website. And not just buying, but that person is more likely to return to your website to add a buy again. So that's why it's always good to have like a very simple, very simple and easy to navigate website, especially e-commerce website. So if I go on your website, let's say if you're selling, um, let's say clothes, or if you're selling, uh, let's say shoes, or maybe whatever it is, I want to get something from your website. And just finding where the, the products are located, it's just so stressful. I've been on the website for more than two, three minutes. I cannot find where the product is located. There's a likelihood I'm out of leads and go check somewhere else. So you want to make sure navigating through your website is very simple so that customers don't have to go through that stress. So that's one of the key things when you're planning to have like an e-commerce website is you always be at the back of your mind. What is the purpose for which I'm, 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 I'm building this website? Is it for customers? Is it just for people to go and just see or is it, is it just for the sake of having a website? Because you want customers to purchase from your website, you want a website to be very simple and easy to navigate through. And even the products should be very simple and easy to find. That will cause customers 
to either buy or return to your website. So that's tip number one. But tip number two is the product image. You know, I can't emphasize this more than what I'm about to say. Product image is very key. Even in advertising, product image is like the top. Like people are, are triggers to buy depending on how appealing that image on the website is. So let's take for example, uh, if I go on your website again to purchase like a shoes and the image of the shoe is just not appealing in any way. It's, it's not attractive. Like you have a whole lot of stuff at the background, maybe where you place the, the shoes is just so distracting and all those kind of things, it discourages customers from buying that product. So you want to make sure products that you put on your website they are appealing and, and they, they fit within the, um, the e-commerce cycle. So because like most websites, for example, most e-commerce websites, if you check out most e-commerce websites, you usually see most of the products that they upload, there's no background. So you usually see like a plain background or you usually see uh, maybe some kind of aesthetic background that is kind of appealing. So you want to like take those things into consideration when you're trying to upload or post your product uh, into the inventory or on your website when you're trying to upload your products on your website. Uh, there are lots of tools that you can make use of to remove the background. You have Pixels Cut, you have uh, even uh, Photoshop. You can even remove your product background using Photoshop. But now you see, uh, you, even if you check on, uh, if you're using like an iPhone, for example, there are lots of mobile apps, even Android. There are lots of mobile apps that you can use to remove the product background. So that has made it so easy. Like you don't need to go through all this stress trying to find like a cameraman, trying to take the product to a specific photo studio for that person to uh, be able to shoot all your products and things. Using that means it's not bad, but it's costly. Now, like I, like I just said, there are lots of uh, mobile apps and even software that you can use uh, to remove the background. So uh, make sure when you are even intending to create your website, make sure that images that you put on your website should always be appealing because it matters to the customers. Like I said, always have in mind the purpose for which you are creating that website. It is not so much because of it, it is because of the customers. You want to please them so that they can be um, uh, 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 motivated to buy whatever you are selling. So that's like the basic aim of having like an e-commerce website. E-commerce website is strictly for sale. That is getting involved with customers because they are the ones that are going to purchase your product. So always make sure you have things on the website that will appeal to them. That's the only way they are going to purchase from you. So always have like an attractive and appealing product image. So that's tip number two. So lastly, guys, for tip number three, whenever you are building an e-commerce website, always try to have like a live chat. So this is more like a trending stuff right now. Uh, you usually see it on most e-commerce websites because uh, business owners believe that uh, most customers usually struggle getting their way through most of these websites, especially e-commerce. So to ease that stress or to ease the journey of customers having what they want to get, so they have launched something called Live Chat, where customers can easily chat with uh, either the customer service staff if they have a problem, maybe finding a specific products or maybe just going through the website or maybe if they are looking for something that they are not finding at all or they just can't get their way through the, the website. So the, the, the live chat is there to enable uh, customer service staff to communicate with, uh, with these buyers or whoever is on our website trying to get what they are looking for. So that is the journey or the stress of that person. So if you go on a website, and you see like a live chat and let's say uh again let's say i went on this website trying to buy like, like a pair of sneakers and and i just couldn't find a specific brand of sneakers so it's kind of like stressful so i saw this live chat and i decided to hit the person i said hey uh, i'm looking for a knock but i cannot find it on the website can you locate me where can i find it or or do you guys have any, any of, of of those sneakers in stock so that person can easily tell me out of yes we don't yes we have it or we don't have it or this is where you can find it this is why you should do this is what you shouldn't do so having a live chat on your website is very essential so it helps again to alleviate the stress from our customers those are the kind of website that customers want to be on because 
those kind of websites they are very friendly they are customer friendly customers will want to buy from those kind of websites and always want to come back to those kind of websites because they believe that there's no stress even if there is a stress they always have someone to assist them which is really good so always try to have it in mind before building your e-commerce website or if you already have one you should try to launch a live chat it's something that you can work with your developer or whoever did your website they will be able to assist you with that it's really important it's very very important it helps to build customer loyalty customer trust and it makes your customer to believe that you actually care about them so people want to be with uh with with, with, with a brand that, that that actually care about them you don't want to be with a brand that just don't care about the, their their customers so you want to be with a brand that do care about their customers so if you are looking to start your e-commerce uh, or if you're looking to maybe build your e-commerce website or if you already have one try to take these things into consideration it's going to be helpful for you it might probably increase your sales or it might grow your brand so these are the top three tips i just shared with you and if you find these tips to be helpful please make sure to subscribe hit that like button and leave a comment we'll certainly be sure to reply you so thank you and Thank you.